Um, click down on that button for um, sport, please. Sport. Yes, sir. And then uh, just to refresh, we'll hang on to third, but till we get to the straight, we'll blast up to fifth. Okay. Show me okay, how the okay. how this works. Where is the gear? Oh, it's right here. It's good. Yeah. Show where P is. Okay. But I'll also help you out with the signal. Alrighty, sir. So we're all set. Let's roll out, nice and easy. Okay. So the tire is flashing. That's okay. Yeah, it's okay. We service it ourselves. Channel two. Channel two. Channel three. All right. Let's go and upshift. My helmet is stopping me. It's sitting right. Okay, got it. Get to about 25 and then give that brake a try, please. Good. Good. Clear. Whenever you're ready. Copy. Thank you, Zig. All right. Let's upshift into second. Good. Click one more for third. Straight to blue. 
it in. Let's go middle of the straightaway. Give yourself more space. There you go. Yeah, but I, I do feel like the force induction gives you that 
surge of torque punch. Yeah. And this one is just kind of linear, you know, it's like... And I feel like I'm trying a lot to hit the tires, like, destroy the tires, yeah. which I don't want to. It takes a so this is a commentary a year later. Uh, my impression of the Terracon. I don't like how it drives because um, it's a little wild. It doesn't feel like it's planted on the ground. Um, at the time, I get a feeling of um, uh, skidding around on the track. And the car is hard to control. Unlike um, the Corvette, it's a little more sorted out. Later on, you'll see I drive the Ferrari. That car is nine day difference from the Hericon. So if I have to rank the drivability of Hericon versus Ferrari 4AA versus, let's say, a Z06 Grand Sport Corvette C7, I would say uh, it will be 4AA and Corvette Grand Sport, and it will be Hericon. It's the unpredictability of the Huracan that scares me. It feels like it wants to kill me every time I push it too hard. And it will let me know I push it too hard in the car. It will try to uh, pull itself back on the track. As for Corvette, it's kind of sorted out uh, along the way. It doesn't let you push too hard, it doesn't let you uh, go too wild. So keeping that median range low, more like a mediocre car, sports car. But the Ferrari is uh, it's quite amazing. Uh, for the next video, it's a genius. The car let you do anything you want to, no matter how hard I push it to my limit. The car is just there, um, laughing at me. I guess it says push harder, and the car basically broke the track record. I was there.